Hello friends, we all know that the world today is fighting an existential war against a deadly disease named COVID-19. This disease is caused by a virus. Have you ever wondered that why all these deadly viruses originate from China? Whether it is the deadly SARS virus which originated from Guangdong in 2002 and infected more than 8000 people and killed more than 800 people? Or whether it is the present day SARS-CoV-2 which is said to have originated from the wet market of Wuhan and has spread to the whole world, killing more than 15,000 people. The common thread in all these cases is a wet market. Now we need to understand that what a wet market is. It is a kind of a market where freshly butchered meat is provided to the consumers. This freshly butchered meat is considered to be tastier than the normal meat. But the real problem comes from the fact that in these places, not only traditional livestock is provided to the consumers, but also wild animals including exotic and endangered species are also provided to them. The commingling of these animals and the highly insanitary conditions of these markets lead to the transfer of these deadly virus from the wild animals to the traditional livestock. And when these traditional livestock are consumed by majority of the people around the world, then this transfer of virus can easily take place. Now a question arises that how these wet markets are allowed and how the trading of wildlife is happening in these markets. The story behind it can be seen in the history of China. If we rewind back to 1970s, this was the failed decade after the Cultural Revolution. Mao Zedong had led many to starvation because there was no food production in the country. This had led to very bad conditions in the rural areas of China where very less production was seen. The solution to this was given by Deng Xiaoping, the next leader in China, who in late 1970s lifted the straight control over the rural farming to allow peasants to provide for their own sustenance. This led to huge wildlife farming in the rural areas of rats, bats, civet cats, pangolins, etc. Even when in 1998 wildlife protection acts were enacted in China, then it protected the lawful rights of those engaged in the development of utilization of wildlife resources. This led to the huge development of wildlife farming sector in China. Today, large-scale operations are being done in China and it is not only for use for consumption but it is also being used for magic ingredients and tonics and alternative medicines in China. Thus, today in China, we can see various wet markets which are carrying out trade in things like bats, snakes, deer or even endangered pangolins. Today, this has become a $148 billion economy and that it has a very big influence on the Chinese government. Because of this reason itself, that after SARS, when the ban was imposed on these, this industry, it was lifted very soon after the SARS virus was subdued. And this greed of China has led to endangering the life of all the people in the world. If this industry is not stopped in China, it is not going to impact us today like it is doing in the form of SARS-CoV-2, but it may also impact us in the future with such deadly viruses. This is the video. Thank you. If you like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel.